Well, new at five, following the passing of Proposition 206, a minimum wage increase for city workers. What's next for Pima County workers? Good Tuesday evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Priscilla Casper. And I'm Sean Mooney. The Board of Supervisors discussed a pay raise for county workers. News for Tucson's Shelley Jackson has more. No formal decisions were made today. Most supervisors agreed that all interested parties should have input into the decision and a robust public debate. So my concern is that we have a situation where you have some people on one side of the road that are going to get paid a certain amount and people right across the street that aren't. District 5 Supervisor Adelita Gerhalva has suggested Pima County enact a $15 an hour minimum wage. She says this would be consistent with the minimum wage Tucson voters approved earlier this month, as well as the federal minimum wage. Supervisor Rex Scott says he supports the minimum wage increase. and uh, debate before such a decision is made. Most supervisors agreed input is needed from everyone impacted by the move. I think it's incredibly important to bring together uh, not only SALZ, but other business leaders in the community, the Chamber of Commerce, and, um, the multiple stakeholders to, to develop a plan to move forward. Grijalva says she is concerned the initiative process is very costly and that the issue doesn't necessarily need a voter initiative. But not everyone agrees with that. Supervisor Scott, that he has a probably the most reasonable uh, recommendation to put it to a vote countywide. But barring that, I would say that, that it would be detrimental to the business community, to private enterprise, and to the well-being and the economy of Pima County to enact any such type of legislation legislation supervisors into the meeting without deciding upon any action on the proposed minimum wage the next meeting is december 7th live in studio shelly jackson news 4 tucson